Hello, YouTube and Twitch. Uh, uh, it's Dummy Gaming. Um, so, with everything going on in the world, I decided that I would... I would like, um... Obviously, I'd like peace, but the thing is, is that I really, really wanted to play Hearts of Iron 4, but the thing was, I didn't feel like taking anybody over. And Hearts of Iron 4, uh, taking over countries, invading other countries, is something that is quite normal to... Uh, see, and um, I didn't want to do that. Uh, for my own empathy and for the state of the world, I didn't, f I didn't feel good doing that. But then a little idea popped into my head. Well, democracy, when you play democracy in Hearts of Iron 4, you normally fight for the good side. You don't really ever, are you hearing? I'm not sure if, let me drop down my microphone just a little bit. And then I can just, yeah, okay, so. Um, I decided that, I found out, I, reali I realized that in Hearts of Iron 4, and when you play a democratic country, you don't normally fight or invade, you normally, uh, help those who are invaded, you normally take down, uh, countries who the bully others, and I was like, well, that would be interesting, maybe I just play a democratic, uh, government, uh, in Hearts of Iron 4, and then TDK got a wonderful, wonderful idea, and I thought, what if I just... Uh, started a coup in, as Russia and became democratic and uh, made Russia a democratic cool country instead of the um, the authoritarian style of country it is right now uh, which leads to things like uh, y you know so um, yeah I decided that I was going to be and Oh, I'm on my new computer, so I don't even have a continued game. Oh, wow, I can't even exit. It won't- it forces me not to exit. <laughs> okay, I'm going to be, uh, playing the Soviet Union, but I'm not actually going to be playing the Soviet Union. I'm going to play the Soviet Union, but pretty much, uh, in this, uh, stream, I'm going to coup it. I have a bunch of mods equipped, if you can't tell. I'm going to coup it and turn it democratic, and, um... It will be all okay. I'll be one of the safeguard, the peace, the peaceful keepers of democracy, and I will um, see what all that's like. I suppose in a better world. Okay, so uh, we're gonna turn off historical AI focuses. We're gonna go with recruit. I don't think we need to do guarantees because we're gonna be democratic. We should probably start guaranteeing stuff as well. So yeah. Let's begin the stream, all right? And I understand uh, starting as the Soviet Union may not be the grandest way to start off our stream, but it will it will get better. I swear it will be it will be a lot uh, better in just and by the end of the stream. Do I have a oh dear? <laughs> uh, by the end of the stream, I'm gonna put it on easy difficulty. Uh, to integrate states because yeah because I'm gonna be democratic so uh, yes let AI change colors okay what do we got here that's very interesting I didn't know any these things could compile up like this uh, so what are we gonna do okay a uh, research slot avail left click for an in instructional video on this issue Oh, bro, oh no, I, I'm fine though, I, I didn't realize there was so many like voice lines and stuff in this. No, guys, I'm, okay, let me, let me just start another, cause it's gonna give me a how to play tutorial, uh, but I don't need a how to play tutorial. I don't need a how to play tutorial cause it, it's recognizing this as a new computer. But the thing is, is that it's not a new computer. Uh, let me just TDKG set that in case I need to do any uh, multiplayer games on this. <sighs> okay, and let's start another new game instead. So maybe, maybe we won't get a uh, an issues thing on this this time. Okay. Here we go. I don't need a tutorial, and I hope the game realizes that this time. And the game does not realize that I don't need a tutorial. Oh boy. Okay, I'm sorry the stream has gone out to be such a... 
uh, bore for now. I'm just still trying to set it up, so I will have this ready soon. Um, if I just do this whole thing again, and then I save and go like... Now it recognizes me that I'm not a new player. Oh my gosh, it still recognizes me as a new player. I don't need any one of these. Okay. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna work at it this time and hope that uh, no like weird tutorial things just pop up. I'm gonna set to easy difficulty. Let it uh, change the colors. We got all this, we got all that. Uh national focuses. So we're gonna do path uh, uh, beaten but not defeated. So we're gonna go down this way. Uh, start the process toward the Soviet Civil War. We're going to be doing this, and with my mod, we have a much bigger focus tree than we normally do. I believe at least yes. Dismantle the Zemsky, right? I swear that. Let me, uh, let me just a moment. Democrats will be pleased with the action. Demo ah, I see. Yes, reconvene the state Duma, and then... Ah, I see! So this is this is the way we go down, I think. With my new thing, with my new, uh... With my new, with my new mod. So yes, I believe this is the way that we become, uh, democratic. Like a democratic Russia, at least. I'm pretty sure. Yes, I think this is how we... Yeah, okay, so we're gonna go for so board and then go down this path, I believe. Okay, so I believe, I'm not sure, this could be... Um, incredibly, this could be a very, very bad idea, but I'm going to try and do anything, anything I can first off. Let's see, I believe I could probably do strength and mobilization plan first and then do that, but I want to, I think I'm going to not do that this time. I think I'm going to save all these focuses and just start the process, although I could probably use some more political power. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna be another, another, it's kind of similar to another white Russian video, just like the, uh, just like that one that we did, uh, earlier. We're gonna start trading with democratic countries, um, so we're going to be doing, like, I don't think Dutch East Indies are a really good country to trade with, but you know what, normally still will stay as democratic. Oh, uh, I guess the U.S. does make, um... Stuff here. Let's just do France, because France normally doesn't... 
Okay, um, I don't need unassigned divisions yet. I think I'm going to start launching. I think our coup, even with the mods, still stays uh, within Cheetah being the f one to do that. But I want to make sure that that's what we need to do. So I'm going to start researching just my normal stuff. Stuff, stuff, stuff. I really do hope that this isn't lagging at all. It shouldn't be because a uh, new PC, so it shouldn't be lagging at all. Seems, doesn't seem like I have any dropped frames yet, so that is cool and everything. Alright, decisions available. We got nothing. Yeah, close the loop of cap though, because I don't need to do that. Training. Well, that's okay. I'll just train one and I'll uh, put it in GD because I think that's where we're going to need it. Um, it's a pretty groovy, groovy music, though. Got a bunch of military equipment that I should probably try. Military factories that I should probably try and uh, stock up on. Okay, that should work. Um, I think I'm gonna go with like more of this, more of that, more, more, more. Okay, you know what? Actually, no, we need we need to make sure that I take like at least three of these for trains. Because I already have low train counts anyways, and I definitely gonna need more trains. Especially when the uh, Civil War starts, so we're gonna do this. Yes, uh, okay, so we got a train going already. Uh, you know what? I'll move. I like to have everything organized, so I'm gonna move the train. Uh, no. Definitely don't need a tutorial on such things like that. Oh, there's a do not show again button. Absolutely don't show again. Just, I, I'm fine. I, I know how to, I know how to have no problems. Or at least I hope I have know how to have no problems. This building provides a state with what? Okay, so some mod, some mod adds a bunch of stuff to adding the civilian factories, uh, adding, uh, synthetic refineries. Um, just gonna add that. Okay, military stuff, and then we have, like, military affairs. Healthy, uh, oh, I see. Hi Council. Oh, this is cool. So we got a bunch of new stuff with this as well. Yo, you got another operative uh, operative slot if you do high high uh, council uh, difference. Yeah, you can get so many recruitable population factors. This is cool. Oh, this is interesting as well. I don't think it should be stay at home because the Soviet Union had. Oh well, we'll be uh, we'll be changing all of this around and making this fully democratic for our military affairs, government policies as well. This is very interesting. Yes, that's gonna be cool. Uh, that has. I'm just trying to look through all this first.
so interesting. There's a bunch of different policies and stuff. I'm not gonna spend time looking through each and every one of them. Construction focus. Wow, this is cool as well. Oh, you can actually make a democratic assembly. That's cool. Okay, with that, I think it's time to actually turn the game on and start the process. Also, I just want to quickly check out... Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, yes, I have another mod which actually gives Tenetuve a, a good focus tree. So this is, wow, this would be very interesting. Oh wait, is there more? There's more states then? Oh wow, there is monarchy. There's monarchy's uh, stuff as well with this. Isn't that interesting? Yes, yeah, so there's monarchy. Monarchy states, uh, communist states. Uh, wow, you can even go. You can even go democratic as time to do That's cool. Okay, well we'll see where they go. Let's begin the game. I'm trying to really not have my hand on the keyboard. I don't actually like to use it. Hey, more free civilian factories. That's great. We're making those go with that one over there then. Chilling, I suppose. Okay, yes, let's go with this one first. And here we go. Okay, so his factionalism, uh, Stalin's factionalism, has just begun, which means that. Oh, oh dear. Okay, so yes, uh, yeah, it's gonna be cheating where we need to do this. Um, so we're just going to start a bunch of... <laughs> I'm still... <laughs> All the different, uh... Neat little trick. If you get all of your um, troops to a place, to the place where you start your revolution, I think you can get more of them if they're already in your starting area. This can sometimes weigh you down, like with the wet revolution, especially. But uh, I think it'll be okay. You can change. Wow! You can change Geneva Convention. That hasn't happened yet. Is it? This media policy, all of that. Well, I don't want to do all that right now. Do I? I mean, what if I could? That would not be. I don't think that would be good, especially not uh, de our de democracy. We could do bombs welcome, but the thing is, is that that st means that stability will be low. Not fast, of course, but still. Ah! 
Okay, turkey sees the control of the boss for us. Uh, just, yeah, just don't worry. Don't worry. Germany and Royal and Civil War. Okay, that's good, because that means that Germany might go democratic as well. That would be nice for us. That would be very nice for us. Uh, state crop. Oh, okay. Would that be good, then? State property and then change the state capitalism later on. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that because now, yeah, oh, yes, now I'm gonna get so much political power. Honestly, I think we need to uh, do unification of the exiles. So be it, etc., etc. So how am I going to lower stability? I mean, how am I going to lower, um, lower the... That uh, factionalism, though. It's gonna look like we've gone even more fascist for a moment, and that but we won't actually be able to. So it's making them control at the start of the site's Russian Civil War. Okay, so yes. Actually, be quite fast. Oh, these two. Um, it won't be. I don't think it'll. I won't. I, I think it'll be quite quick, actually. So I think all we need to do is just do all this. It should be uh, fairly nice and easy, I think, for us to do. So okay. So yeah. Um. I think at least if we keep this under like 50, it should be, we should be alright. I just need to make sure that I have everything set and ready for, uh... Phew. Oh, there's actually a Gene Geneva Convention thing on, on here. Quite for a moment, most, mostly because I am deep in focus. Okay. 
two weekly out oh. oh no okay so I either way if I do this or not I'm pretty darn sure this okay that doesn't help at all because now I get weekly daily three but I had to do that because I would not have done well if not so let's do that um Yugoslavia recognizes Soviet Union. This is the worst time. I've only seen that happen like twice. For for the Soviet Union, for uh, Yugoslavia to recognize the Soviet Union. So Yugoslavia is apparently going to go communist, and yet I'm going democratic. So that's that's not what? great, but. Hey, uh, maybe Ocean. we'll have an ally before any of that happens, so that, that would be good. What, well, stall constitution? Okay, that's not great for us, I suppose, but. It work? I wonder if we have anything that would, like, help with political power. We got we got decisions. I forgot about those decisions. Uh Because they're in the middle of the Civil War, I think they would definitely love to go with that. I'm not going to go yet for any of this. They refused to. Okay, so they didn't want like a massive amount of oil. Yeah, we would have given them like 118 oil. That's like all of our oil supply for their weapons and stuff. Japanese provocation in the Well, that's unfortunate. Oh dear, uh, yes, okay, um, we should probably decrease that. That's not good. I'm pretty sure the Stone Constitution, oh, it's not even done yet. Alright. Don't know why it's this high already, but...
Yeah, I think because most of these don't actually raise any sort of... Yeah, they don't actually raise any sort of... Um, Paranoia, except for I think the Wreckers thing and South Manchuria. Yeah, they don't actually raise the frame counters. Oh, that's good. I should probably just straight. Yeah, as soon as we get this done, and as soon as we get that done, I'm going directly for covert operations because <laughs> I'm gonna need to use. I'm gonna need to do that. Use that. Let's forge those uh, production reports, make sure that that works and all. Um, yeah, I probably need to use these later, but I'll make sure that I have an okay amount of stability. I know the less, least, uh, the least, the less stability that you have, the more likely, the more uh, powerful your revolution will be. I think that's how it works anyway, but I don't want to do that, so. German so <laughs> Yeah, I mean I I'm gonna say just like yes let's do that because I mean I know we're gonna go capitalist anyway, but it's better to have relations with them. Than not to, so I think that's what we do. Remember, if paranoia gets above, if paranoia gets above, um, oh, that's interesting. I always thought that if paranoia got above, um, a certain amount of stuff that, uh, well, maybe, maybe that's just an edit with the stuff that I was doing, that if it's, but if it gets too uh, high up uh, in paranoia, in, on the basic game, I think if you get too high up in your paranoia, <coughs> it'll uh, be okay. First Moscow trial. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh okay. I even I even smart off. Oh okay. So that's. Uh yeah. All right. Oh wait, we're not gonna be supporting these guys anyways. So that's okay, I guess. There we go, so let's do that. really going fast. I'm gonna have to do covert op operations uh, quite speedily. Mm -hmm. So it's not quite, there's not quite a lot of uh, focuses that happen before we do this, especially opposed to like I guess we don't see it now because I, I forgot to turn that off. But if I do like this and then I did like another whole path, there would be like a massive amount of focuses I have to do to make sure that everything's okay. Luckily though, that won't ha happen with this. Uh, yes, anti scepter campaign. Wilhelm assu assumes the what? Okay, Swedish prince. Wilhelm assumes the Hungarian a crown. Seeking a king for their nation, the Hungarians, after long negotiations and preparations, officially invited the Swedish Prince Wilhelm, Duke of Sutherland, I'm not sure how to say that, I apologize, any Swedish people, 
uh, earlier this week. Today, amidst much fanfare and celebration, he was at uh, celebration, celebration, he was crowned king of Hungary in a solemn ceremony at the royal palace in Budapest. It is said the king, uh, the new king, takes the well-being of people to heart and heavy strongly supports their democratic rights. Furthermore, he advocates dialogue with Hungary's neighbors over hostility. The new king may thus prove a welcome aid to reduce some tensions in the region. Oh, this is incredible. So, what, we, we might have a democratic Germany. We might have a democratic Tanatuba. I'm not quite certain where, we, uh, where we're going. Um, but we're also, we're also going to have a democratic uh, Hungary as well. So that's great. So that's, that, means, that means we'll have a little bit more, even more. Even more... Uh, Friends, friends of uh, democracy. Dismiss the counter. Okay, by publicly denouncing any talk of a counter revolution. Some of the Minecraft drinking. Okay, by public denouncing of any talk of counter revolution, that might mean that we might still lose that believe in the false. Okay. So. It reduces uh, phil uh, paranoia at okay. Reduce military support, but what what kind of military support we got? Do we have? Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna take the shot and say yes. Do that. Oh, it'll take like a weekend to do that. Do so anyways. Covid operations. Everyone claps for covid operations. This guy. Who's this guy who will have the white army well? We'll just do this for now. I'm gonna mainly frame admirals. What was that one thing where I said, like, government policies on... Let's state prop... Okay, yeah. Uh, what was that one thing where I said, like, financial course? Mass media policy, quality people, war bonds. Where was it? Yeah, this. A uh, civilian a citizen assembly. If I do this, it might ma I might manage to make this go a lot higher. But at the same time, I could, like, s just start failing some stuff. Oh, crap! I was supposed to have been infiltrating states. And I have not been infiltrating states. Crackdown on Siberia. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, well, this, 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 uh, this is not good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I can raise a, a, a citizen. Oh, that's cool. Let's frame an army officer. Okay, and we'll do this as well. Sounds a lot like- oh, yeah! I was just about to say, all this music sounds a lot like City Skylines. And then I realized they're by the same developer. So it kind of makes sense that they just sound like each other. <laughs> okay, um... Wow. Uh, general... Not sure. Okay, well he didn't do much. Yeah, frame another dude. Because that's not good. Oh, oh, okay, well... We're starting to fail on the civilian paranoia uh, era. Yes, dismiss counter-revolution. Please, do that. Do that now. Dismiss it. 
This is not good. This is not good whatsoever. Um, our stability is just dropping down the drain. I feel like this may not be very, very great. That's wit for major events and stuff. It scared me for a moment though. Okay, so this our orange lines are what the revolution looks like right now. Yeah, so okay, so the military junta the military junta has one conspiracy in the academy. Absolutely! To lower our, per our uh, paranoia, really, just any in any way we can, to be completely honest. Okay, anti-Soviet Trotskyist. This is not good. Um, the traitors dropped down to justice. Yeah, sure. Okay, um... Now that we got some low... Now that we got, uh, we're back at, at low stuff, um... Yeah, let's do Organize the Records. I'm not gonna frame an army officer uh, keyword yet, though. Because believe me, you will, and we're probably gonna do it now, actually. I'm not sure where Stalin is, crack is cracking down in Siberia, but, um. I think we're moving slightly faster than he is. Okay, that's a good, that's a good, uh... State is unlocked. Oh, okay, so we can infiltrate Yakutsk then? Oh, who knows? That's not good. Uh... Hey, can we, um, dismiss the counter-revolution? Or forge satisfactory events? Because, uh... Yes! Ha! Yes, I knew that would happen. Okay, cool. Good, good. This is good. This is good. This is very good. This is incredible. This is great. I was terrified for Okay, let's... Where are there, where are there people... Uh, oh. Well... Okay. Hey, there is... We have a puppet. We have a Latvia. We have Latvia as a puppet in. Whoa, okay! Tanatuba is actually like. making progress as like stuff doing stuff. They actually have. They have Kizo and. Okay, well, they actually have a bunch of different states. Where are they? Oh, they're in. Okay, why why are we Готов. Так, 
Отлично! Oh great, they, uh, we got one of the best uh, versions actually. Uh. Oh, 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 I was about to say we can do uh... Can I go recruit some Manchurian cavalry? Okay, I'm really hoping Really hoping Stalin didn't rush this. The AI Stalin didn't rush this. Uh, but let's see if this happens. Yes. Okay, they didn't. That's great. I'm gonna get uh, 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 the 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 big boat place. Did I just say the big boat? I'm gonna get Vladivostok as one of my cities, and that's gonna be incredible. Okay, so I'm going to not do that yet. So we are, we're getting close then. That's good. If we can maybe like start moving up and out then. <sighs> AKA if we can like start going like this. Yeah, if we can start, gra if we can grab like these three states then. I decided to 
Let me see. Oh, we can do that as well. That might be good to do. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, Andrew Vazov. Uh, that's great, isn't it? Yes, okay, that's good. That means that we have a lot less of a worry. Okay, lots of stuff just went down on like the same day. 16th of July, 1937, and multiple stuff has happened. Okay, so we're still gonna have to deal with fascist Japan. Uh, a little bit to reaffirm. I like the Star Wars sound. <laughs> Increases over 75, great per drones maker. We'll do this, I think. I have to really watch my p uh, political paranoia. Yes, good. Okay, <laughs> never mind. Now I can do some stuff again. Okay, this is good. 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 facing a two-front war, which is really not what I wanted to do, but, I mean, I'll take what I can get, I suppose. KVD have kidnapped it. Oh, an opportunity to bring off the chairman. Wait, what? 
prison and will be executed unless white forces are l If Yevgeny Don't, don't, don't mind that. Uh, Mom's playing Fortnite. She tends to be scared by anything. Great Purge, Trial of the General. What the? Okay. This is there's large Trotsky it. Trotsky I, I iced. Okay, you know what? Never mind. That's okay. Now, yeah, that's okay. Mostly because now, as we've reset, like, all of that... That means that I can now, like, straight up just start expanding my white revolution just across all of the... This is... That was actually really well-timed. It may not be incredible, Yugoslavian economic aid. Wow, I didn't realize we had we had economic aid from Yugoslavia. No. Effect when removed. Oh, that's not great. I guess that might not have been the best decision to do. Anti saboteur campaign. Absolutely, do that. Catch those saboteurs. Oh, they've infiltrated that. Actually, okay. Black shirts organized in the United Kingdom. Okay, that's not incredible, but. But it'll be okay. Okay, yeah. We're gonna still continue. We're gonna keep like, trying to expand out. Strengthening the mobilization plan. Well, actually, no. You know what? I think I'm gonna just gather up some. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna do heavy industry, and let's let's keep expanding them. We keep on moving. We keep on grooving. I got this in the bag. Actually, that not that far, I suppose. From now, I can do like a, a few more expansions, aka like if I can get like the if I can get like these four here. If I can manage to like expand outward this way and get these four different ones, I think you know that would be Nanette's and Archangel. Seems like we've run out of admirals to frame. So let me hire some admirals so we can frame. So I can promptly just betray, betray them. Sicily secedes peacefully. Oh, okay, cool. So Sicily is like actually independent now. Wow, that little motif and that song did not sound like Overwatch at all.
think it's time to move my troops again. Because this, this isn't actually where the revolution is going to be anymore. Oh, the Ural Mountains are big. They, that could prove to be very dangerous, couldn't that? If I can manage to maybe take the Ural Mountains... Because attacking the Urals would probably prove very, very bad for me. So if I can manage maybe to expand out that way... Wait, no, I shouldn't, I shouldn't want them to do that. Because that, I want that democracy to win, so... Turn the music down. Don't mean to be rude. Just can't hear you talk. Cool. Okay. Yes. Of course. I can definitely. I can definitely turn the music down. I was. Uh, I was kind of surprised by this sound uh, myself, but I didn't think of it. Anyways. Let me turn the audio down to. Perhaps that will work a bit, a bit better. Yes. Camera, I think that's, I think that works just a little bit better than it did before. So I'm just gonna hope that that works. Not sure if you're still watching, not sure when those messages were sent, but, uh, tell me, tell me if you, tell me if that's better on your ears. own the heroes which is gonna be awesome because if I can own the heroes then that, ba that basically means uh, I got a bunch of stuff I got a bunch of stuff I can do fairly easily as well you 
so okay, this is this is about to be really good. Cause my my revolution is now gonna be so extensive that it reaches almost all the way up to I wonder if maybe I could like even try and take most of the Great Stepper region and just make it so that I had like a nice line right here. I probably won't try and do that though. I just think it's probably gonna be better to. Oh, I can't even. Can't. I don't. I don't think I can even. Um. I don't think I can even expand out like further than this. Let me take that as like my final state, and then I think I'm gonna see if I can like start the revolution. Nobody does it. Let's do this then. even further with the revolution and I can do this still if I can't if I can't get anything as if like I can't if I can't win this even um, with what I have I'll just keep moving forward and I'll see what I can do then but until then let's see what we can do second rush to civil war arms! Okay, let's see what we can do. Now, I know this looks very odd. This looks like maybe maybe not so great, but we we got this. All right, we're we're gonna have this. We have this. We got this. Yeah, let's call for aid immediately. Hey, hey okay, so. How many unaligned, how many non-added troops do we have? Just in that area we had, yo, just in that, okay, never mind, uh, okay, <laughs> okay, um, Centurion Cavalry brigade, 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 Brigades as well. Okay, that's all we have for now. Um... I suppose it doesn't quite look like an incredible amount of soldiers at this point. But I swear it will become a grand army. Get 
Okay, I'm gonna have... These two guys, these two guys are gonna. Uh, I don't think sure. any of these guys have. Yeah, these guys are the only ones with the area defense, so we're just gonna cancel the area defense. Okay, so these 48 will line up against our main border. Uh, yes, okay. Uh, well, these these guys, the uh, Andre Andre uh, Shukor, Shukor, mostly in that division, that area, which is great. We'll go with this. Okay, and meanwhile, we'll have our seven troops over here, and then we'll eventually integrate them into one of these armies. Okay, it doesn't look like we have many much manpower right now, but we will. We will. Oh, okay, so we got planes over there, so let's let's move them. Oh, okay, and we got these guys here, so let's move them here. Oh wait, can we? Okay, yes we can. I have enough, uh, man, I have enough power to just, like, completely ruin every, all of the Soviet Union, um, all of their powers. Okay, so, uh, with the White Russian Movement, we are now beginning the war. State property has been, our recruits are ready. Oh, the rookie divisions are, oh, that's good. We've got even more people, I think. Uh, second Russian Civil War. Rather unexpectedly, light forces have riven up, risen up against the Bolsheviks once more. Their cause may have seemed lost. <laughs> okay, here we go. And that means that we have even more people that will probably... Hey, that's cool. Geez, how many are there? Okay, these these ones these ones I'm pretty sure are doomed, but we're just gonna have everyone run to uh, Kiev, Moscow, Moscow, Moscow. Oh, okay. Guess there's a Moscow. Now. We can deploy a, a division as well. We'll deploy it right there. Okay, so yes, we're gonna set this to extensive conscription. Uh, we're gonna set a bunch of army policies as well. Uh, well, at least I thought we were going to. That's probably a good one, mixed army.
wanna save some I wanna, I wanna save some political power, so let's have these guys you know what? Let's have these guys who I wanted to go to Kiev. Uh let's have all of them be an army. Hasn't joined the uprising. Oh yes! <laughs> Now, now they're really in for it as well. We had, I still want all of these guys to be this guy and then go all of them go to, all of them go to Kiev. Um. Partisans have joined the uprising even more so, apparently. Uh, oh, Novosibirsk. Yes, let's have you go. Oh, I see. Uh, your strategic command. Okay, well, we'll employ these forces like that. We'll see. Should be enough to cap capitulate the Soviet Union. Hopefully, kind of to uh, they they don't like. Partisan leader. And we have partisan uprisings against the Bolshevik. Okay, from one, as a leader of a particularly well-equipped partisan group, he's offering his services as a general. Sure. Why not? It only costs a little bit of political power just to have another general. That seems like a great idea. I believe we're starting to lose units, but then again, I don't think. Yeah, we're, but then again, we haven't we haven't actually managed to move all of our units to the front lines yet. Okay, these here are a perfect uh, example to do this. Why don't I 
based in Tartaria? With Tartaria. Okay, with the... Surrender limit of stone decreases. That's good. That's not good. Uh... We apparently have a very, very big security problem, and I'm afraid it may be very extensive. That is called the Nationalist Sees the Polish Government. Okay, well that's not, uh... It's unpreferable, but it, it, I guess it's okay. Where's this guy? Oh, they're in Kiev. Oh, Kiev. Okay, well, I've been... I, uh, had all my partisans lead them. And they, they were working for a while, so... They were working. I think Japan's gonna send us some units. Hopefully. Carlos Spain was annexed. Okay, now that this guy has no where to like, go in that thing, we'll, uh, we'll integrate him into the army block. to fight quite a lot. Okay, we can do this now and make sure that we can- oh, hey, I can just sabotage everything right now. Okay, it might not look like we're losing now, but the thing is, is that we're going to be- we're, we will be winning. We're losing now, but we will. We, we're losing now, but we're going to be winning. Believe me. I'm not in Karelia. Okay, well. Looks like enough of these guys aren't moving. I feel like I feel like most of these guys are in place. So let's start the unrest in the Soviet Union. Reports suggest the latest victories in the field. Uh, yo, that's cool. All right, let's start this attack. Hopefully, attacking wins. Nationalist uprising in the Bukharan and Jadidist Republic. Our enemy, yeah, our enemies. Our enemies, enemies are friend. We're going to be, um, I think, quite, quite nice. The death of Grand Duke Kirill Romanov. Kirill Romanov. Senior. Oh. 
You'll be sorely missed by all the white Russians, all in the white Russian government. And we will be uh, turning Gandalf democratic. I remind, I remind you, will we, we will be turning democratic directly after um, uh, the uh, civil war is done. Kingdom of Lithuania. Okay, Kingdom of Lithuania. So basically, um, Kingdom of Lithuania, they're gonna reform the Commonwealth. I think that's just how they do that. Wow, oh, we are really moving, and especially in Siberia where it's cold. Hey, yes, cool, yes! <laughs> unrest in the Soviet Union, but not just unrest in the Soviet Union. Troops! And dear, deary me, there is a lot of them. So many that we're gonna start a new army. Also, we are we we're starting to move out, by the way. And we're taking over we're taking over the uh excellent stockpile. Unrest in the Great Step. I'm not in the Great Step, that's not Oh, that's not great. That's not great step for us at least. Yeah, now we're gonna have manpower problems. Uh, Kievan... Jadidist... Nah, our enemy's enemy is our friend. For now, at least. I think we can reclaim some of these territories later. And I will, except for Ukraine. I'm going to be good if Ukraine goes to, At least, if it becomes independent, I'll be, uh, helping them out. It's like the only cool thing they did, but... Democratic Russian government and Ukraine will be friends. In fact, I'm going to be improving relations with them. Okay, I don't think they really like us that much. Yes. Uh, I think it's they claimed our territory. Oh, that's not great. Uh, this declaration with the chaos of the civil war engulfing national lands in the uh, periphery, uh, quickly sliding out of government control. Uh, Crimea, uh, Odessa. Oh, that's good. Actually, that's really good because now, now we don't actually have them as a core, right? At least I didn't think we'd have them as a core, but I suppose. I think they're one of the most powerful breakaway states as well, so they're they're already wow, they're already attacking really well as well. Excellent. They're gonna be great ally. Ecuadorian authority, so Ecuador and uh, Japan are uh, friends now. Oh wow, oh wow, okay, well China China got Overthrown by Japan really fast. We'll have to we'll have to uh, take them down. Uh, supposedly, I'd assume with the help of our also buddies. Yes. Uh, Kurson, Dagestan. Okay, and then Turkmenistan. Our enemies are friends our friend still. I 
assuming this is a defeat naval, naval invader. Yes, it is. Formalize the role of the patriarch. Alrighty. <laughs> Establish a provisional government. Oh, that's good. Uh, provisional government. Uh, provisional government. Our political advisors, Desperate Gambit, internal rivalry, but that's okay. I'm establishing the original government. So it sets Latvia is in the war then. Since, since Latvia is in the war, then does that mean that I'm gonna be able to like puppet Latvia or annex Latvia? Puppet Latvia, puppet Latvia, definitely puppet Latvia. Uh, we're democratic after all, so. Puppet Latvia. Oh, you're out of resources. Perhaps you should move into the city right there. If this is laggy at all, for any of you, just let me know if it's, like, too bad. Because I wouldn't want this to be, like, a laggy stream. I've had a couple of those, and I don't want that to be good. I don't want this to be one of those, so... Provisional Russian government has uh, formed, and now I think we're going to be a lot better of a group. Yes, okay, so we're going to be able to do that. We're going to have a little bit of a couple problems with resistance and unrest, I think. But we should be okay. We should be okay. So what, this is, so what this is playing out is because uh, Britain has Britain has gone uh, fascist, uh, so they became the British Empire. Looks like the French Commune, the French Commune in France have been locked in this for a while. Let's see if we can like send some help. What's up, friends? I'm Kyrgyzstan. For documents, but... Also, here's Natasha. Okay, we'll see. We'll see what you think about it. Oh, occupying Soviet forces. So they got. So they got reintegrated. And for some reason, France still just doesn't like us. I don't. Know. Hurt my feelings. That's all right. They'll like us. They'll like us. They'll like us more later. Strike across the penis. We actually are wearing the flag of the Russian Federation right now because we're in the provisional Russian government. But that's okay. We'll be democratic later again. Uh, is that Republic of Georgia? Our enemies, enemy is our friend still. Fight, fight, fight. All for the Soviets will uh, go down. There are, okay, unrest in the Arctic. Unrest in the Caucasus. Oh, uh, Caucasia. Okay, well, that's not incredible. I don't know why 
why we're not attacking still. Okay, it looks like we are attacking, just not in the places that we thought we would be attacking. Um, we'll continue down that lane. I like the Mass Assault Doctrine. I think the Mass Assault Doctrine is one of the best. Wow, uh, the Ukrainian uh, resistance fighters actually, I think they're speeding towards Moscow. Or Moscow, but still, that would be interesting. Looks like the Soviet Union is reintegrating a bunch of those states. Oh yes, Katyusha. Everybody bop their heads to get you shit. Whilst our war goes on and our power is solidified, uh, let's stop for quick chat uh, checking. Okay, we have a bunch of resistance to occupation, and I will probably release these countries if I can later. <laughs> uh, if I if I can, I, I hope that I can. For now, I'll just be instituting our both resources. That's all. I'm trying to do the least amount of like resistance or anything. Like that. Get Republic of Turkmenistan. Let's get to it. Okay, well that's. Not great. The more ones fall, I don't make it. Really I'm on you. Why has no one moved forward in the, in the in this down areas like over here? Oh, Australia seeks distance from Canada, okay, Dominion of Canada does too. It's because they're Britain fascist, but. Kyrgyzstan has also uh, captured it, but this is all okay still. This is all okay. We're still gonna win. If we can't win, we'll probably become a puppet of Japan for a little while at least. Look at that! All of um, all of the Transcaucasia really does not really really wanted independence that bad, I suppose. Uh, yeah, that's cool with me. Do do that. Even Corellia is going at it. I mean, we're I mean now we're I mean, oh, giant won't be sleeping this time. That's fine with us. 
isn't it? Oh my gosh, we're attacking the units led by Georgie Zukov. I uh, did not realize we were attacking the units led by literally one of the best Soviet generals in history. But we can't be intimidated. All if we're intimidated. South Africa declares independence. If we're if we're intimidated, um, this won't Okay, look, you just, just trust me. I, I'm not speaking straight because I'm too focused on the game. So don't. Oh, did I actually? I don't think I actually. I said I would st stop for a quick chat break, and then I proceeded to like immediately not stop for a quick chat break. Yes, the Commonwealth is declaring independence. I get it. Just the Commonwealth is breaking apart at the seams. I understand. Leave me alone. I want to fight this war here. Okay, let's. Let's actually, because everything's going very well, I think, let's actually stop for a quick check. My gosh, every <laughs> everything interesting begins happening as soon as I say let's stop for a quick chat break. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, Crimea. Kingdom of Poland took four states. Yo, okay, so it's actually going to be a kingdom now. The Polish Lithuanian Kingdom, uh, as opposed to uh, a nationalist Poland, which I think I can deal with. Now Ukrainian freedom fighters don't have to fight in Crimea anymore, and the Crimea because Crimea is independent. So that's going to be cool. So let's actually stop for a quick chat break this time. What's going on? You're the best, I'm sub to you on YouTube. Thank you, thank you so much. May I ask, how do you play that game? Is this like the original Iron Assault? Okay, um, so yes, this is Hearts of Iron 4. It's on us, it's Steam, it's really cool. Uh, this is actually, yes, this is, I believe, what Iron Assault was based off of. It's also what Rise of Nations was based off of. So, uh, yes, we have the original Iron Assault and uh, Rise of Nations. It's on Steam, it's a lot more complicated than both of those. It took me a while to um, get this good, <laughs> to uh, be able to do that, to um, be able to play it at all. Uh, is this like the original Iron Assault? Yes. Uh, hey, uh, D D DKG, are you white Russia? Yes, I am. I am going to overthrow it and become democratic and uh, hopefully change the future of this alternate universe in this Hearts Round 4 game. Um... You're my favorite favorite YouTuber right now. I love the one where you made a white Russian spy like Albert. Yes, uh, I I'm still gonna do that. I'm still gonna do. That. I premiered that video to my parents as well, and they love that one as well. So that'd be cool. And back, that's cool. Hey, can you do an Iron Assault in the Napoleonic War or American Revolution? If I see a map, uh, if the next time I go into Iron Assault, I see a map that has that, I'll start recording. Uh, YouTube video, absolutely. Okay, chat break over. Let's see what uh, we've got going on. We stockpile captured in Milarovo. Yes, we can definitely put that to good use. Uh, if we can just fight these guys here, we are really running. We are really running out of like artillery. Wow, we're running out of artillery. Just all of the artillery. Oh my. Oh jeez. Okay, that's probably not that great. Uh, perhaps if we. I can actually do this. There, let's do the flights, and then even though we're gonna, even though we say we're using it for like um, flights and things, what we're actually using it for is something much different. Let's start our civilian policy, citizen assembly, democratic assembly. Okay, so now we're going to become a little bit more democracy. A little bit more democratic.
P-O-U-M Spanish Commune Oh, whoa, that's interesting Communism, okay Who reject both Has already severed all ties with the Okay, well this is Interesting and very, very odd Let's do this as well Definitely didn't expect that to happen. It's kind of like Katyusha again. It sounds like we're going to We're going to just take out this division specifically. The Chapa Efskius. Yeah, this stuff in Katyusha again. I didn't realize that the songs played twice in this, I guess. Yo, all the states, all the independent states, I suppose, are kind of falling back down. Which is unfortunate, but at the same time, it's getting kind of better now, I suppose. Uh, where are these guys? You see, this is why I didn't integrate them immediately, because they're still stuck in Siberia, and if I had done that, then a huge portion of my, like, my, uh, my border would have been, uh, not, would have not had, uh, troops on it, so, because uh, they would have been waiting for them to appear. Okay, I think I need to rewrite my, um, military orders. Oh, oh, did I do that? Did I get it? Did I get the, uh... Did I get that one true? Yeah, I did. Cool. Great. Awesome. Uh. Excuse me? Wow, they're already fighting. The Soviet Union, apparently? That'd be interesting, I guess. Having the Polish on our side. Would not be opposed. Third five year plan. Not disrupted. Okay. Oh, oh, wait a moment. Yeah, I think they just did that. I think they just started fighting. I think, uh... I think Poland just started, uh... Oh my gosh, Poland just started fighting the Soviet Union. Okay, well... I mean... I guess that's a big problem for the Soviets, but... Us, not so much. Us, we're, we're completely fine. No, I selected this one and then told it to go in this way. Oh, okay. Oh, is this how they're getting all their supplies? From Silicard? Uh, enemies, enemies are friend, yeah. Although, maybe I should take the loops. Soviet Union. Oh, excellent. Although, did I just see... Oh, dear. Oh, no. Okay, well, um... It looks like they're attacking us back. Which, I mean, it looks like they're trying to start a counter-offensive. Which isn't great, but at the same time, I believe we've just... Yes, we've just... Done m many more, many more divisions. They won't be put to use yet, but they will be put to use. Okay. okay, look, never, you know what, never mind, look at that! Okay, 
Yo, yeah, okay, never mind. It looks like we're we're we are attacking. We are pushing forward. We are pushing back. Latvian People's Republic has kept capitulated. Uh, the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth uh, looks like it might be kind of um, not not. It kind of looks like the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth might be an aggressor. That would be kind of unfortunate. United States German Czech and Pentel. Let's see if we can do a Czech and Pentel. That'd be cool. Joint German Joint Air Research. Oh! Cool. Oh, okay. Uh, that's because Latvia capitulated. We need to do this. Okay. <laughs> uh, we were able to. We were able to make sure that at least a little piece of Latvia stayed Latvian. So, although Poland took most of the uh, area, we managed to take. Uh, we managed to puppet uh, Latvia still and managed to stay Mongolia from the mutual assistance block. Close Lithuanian Commonwealth took four states. Uh, provisional Russian government took 77. Soviet Union was annexed. Latvia was populated. Oh, okay. Well, guys, we just won the Soviet Civil War. Okay. Uh, I think Poland. Yeah, sure. Um. So yeah, we have this much territory now, 4 million people in our army reserve. Oh, we also have free military factories, we have, we can do all, we can make all this, this is cool. That's cool, let's, let's put those three military factories back to work as part of the civilian area. Uh, let's, wow, we have fast things for that. Um, We are mainly a democratic assembly as well. Special buildings. Oh, look at that. That seems like a good one. Um, let's put our stock into the schools then. That seems like a good idea. Oh, modify aluminum by, modify synthetic finery output by, oh, that's cool. So we can manage to make these guys make anything else as well, so that's cool. Um, I won't do that yet though. Uh, let's start some army policies, I suppose. You know what, let's make government policies. Do any of those yet? If I do this, does that mean that I get? Okay, yeah, that's actually pretty good. There's no bonds selling. Yeah, seems like a great idea. Because of lack of civilian factories. Yeah, that might be a great idea in after.
Okay, well, I think that's pretty good. That's, yeah, we, we have started a lot of different stuff now. Um, civilian factories at all, huh? Perhaps that's just because I need to, like, start, um... Okay, I need to cancel this focus here so that I can, like, start, uh, repairing things. Just factory repair speed so I can manage to get some stuff at least going. Okay, everyone has a local resistance force, and oh my gosh, some of these guys are so, so high up. Okay, uh, uh, I'm just not gonna pay attention to that right now. Just right now. I'll pay attention to that soon. Just not right now. Okay, uh, for now, I think I may call this a uh, stream to a close. We are getting quite, quite well, well, and far into the endless. Uh, let's see, let's put three of these guys at seven. Uh, okay, these guys, these, no, these three guys. And let's open back to this. Loved over to her. Nice. Well, we have all this now, guys. We have all of the provisional Russian government uh, ex and some split away states. So there were some split away states uh, like the Republic of Uzbekistan, um, Dagestan, uh, Chechen English, uh, Georgia. Georgia, um, Armenia, and Azerbaijan. 
Crimea, Ukraine, Belarus, and Karelia also split. Uh, but I think that's about all that there was that split. Um, yeah. Yeah, so we, we got through it without uh, creating too much chaos. Uh, oh, this is Republican Italy versus Communist Yugoslavia, I suppose. Oh, because they're in the Allies. That's, that's very dangerous. Republican nation like Italy. With uh, the fascist Britain. Um, this nation from case... Uh, so, they're fascist for some reason, but they could be democratic. Um... I would say I could launch a coup, but Bourbon France exists. Uh, Spanish Commune. Oh, Spanish Commune. They're about to. They're about to create the Iberian Union then. Uh, so we're and then um, the United States. <laughs> and then we have the United States, I suppose. Um, yeah. So we are going to be democratic, along with multiple others. I would really hope that. Okay, what's going on here? Expanded workers' rights. Political upheaval? Oh, okay, so Ukraine's gonna not be democratic, I suppose, but that's okay. That's okay. We can probably turn them democratic again, like, just, just, like, just... But we're gonna be most, most, we're gonna be pretty much peaceful with all of our breakaway states. We're gonna try and reintegrate the ones that, uh, did not uh, fall, <laughs> that uh, we accidentally integrated, I suppose. Uh, let's see our manpower spike, by the way. Victory! Time to move on. Loses Desperate Gambit. Kindness Regime has fallen. But we still don't have troops named Stalingrad. Uh, sorry, cities named Stalingrad and things like that. It seemed like an impossible undertaking. The renewal of the fight against the Bolsheviks by the exiled white movement has turned into a victory in spite of all odds. The provisional government declared the Soviet Union beaten and vowed to restore Russia to its former glory. Uh, not really. Uh, the war has devastated much of Russia and cost the country dearly. The whereabouts of Ayos of Stalin are so far unknown. Rumors have it that he might uh, have escaped the country days before surrender and that he might be hiding somewhere in South America. Oh well, we don't have to worry about that now. So yes, our Latvian puppet... Uh, of Hermanus Lothko. So his his area his um capital is now Valmeria. So it's not there's not a lot of we can't we don't have really he doesn't really have much. But at least we saved uh, a piece of his country at, at least as uh, they annexed everything else. Okay, well, Germany's at war with somebody. Black hundred militias remain active. Black hundred militias remain active. Black hundred fascist militias were essential for us earlier in the civil war in security, territory, and popular support against the Bolshevik regime. However, though they are becoming a cornerstone of our strength, Black Hundred is quickly becoming problematic. With the Red Army defeated and the Bolsheviks crushed, Black Hundred have turned their attention to other so called foes of the Russian state and have begun extensive campaigns tearing through the countryside and provincial towns alike, uh, inciting violence and. Oh no, 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 we can't have that. We have to get a handle on this situation before it spirals out of control. Okay, so they'll build up for fascism, I guess, a little bit. Factions begin to split into the white movement. They split the white movement. Okay. Germany is under attack. Germany joins Czechoslovakia. Can we join that? Oh, we're not allowed to join factions. <laughs> Yet. Yet. We'll be allowed to join factions, eventually. Don't know why we're not allowed to join factions, but we'll, we'll get there. The capital of the original Russian government. We have four choices. St. Petersburg, Vladivostok. I'm not going to keep cheating. I know that. Moscow. Moscow uh, we can move capital to Moscow. Um, 
I'll just keep Cheetah. Keep Cheetah. Um, so we're in the eastern capital. I don't want to have anything in the east. Uh, St. Petersburg was the capital of the Empire, but it's on the water. So let's move into a new forward day, and let's move it to Moscow. Let's keep it in Moscow for now, but um, we're going to go. We're still going to go democratic. Still want to point that out. Just keep pointing out that we're de going democratic. Pakistan has capitulated to Yugoslavia. Doesn't look like they capitulated to Yugoslavia. Pakistan joined the Allies. Oh, uh, Allies versus mutual assistance bloc. Yes, that's happening. Uh, did that not look to me for a second like... It looked to me for a second, um... Stalinization. The Bolsheviks tried to change the state religion of communism and created a personal cover on its leaders. They went so far as to rename the cities of Russia. Order must be restored. Okay, so we're... It basically means... that we can move it back, that we can change our city's names back to what they were during the Russian Empire or towards what they would be now in like real life. What do you guys think? I'm not sure if you guys are in the chat anymore, uh, who's watching. Uh, okay. Uh, I feel so bad for the Ukrainians. So do I, so do I. That's why I'm de well, <laughs> it's the smallest little gesture that I can do making Russia democratic in this game, but I'm not sure where I can, what I can do. Uh, thank you. Have a good day, unless you stay on. I will be staying on for a little bit longer. Oh no, is that the Nazi flag? Uh, it was. It was for a moment. Um, that happens whenever Russia get, uh, whenever Germany gets pulled into another war. Uh, they count it as World War II, at least, uh, but uh, uh, it wasn't. It, they, they have actually gone democratic, which is cool, but I don't know why that one still pops up. I don't know what the red flag was. You were right. Saritsyn is better. Saritsyn is better. Okay, there you go. I'll let you guys choose Saritsyn. We're going with Saritsyn, back to the Russian Empire's uh, city name. So now, um, what was Stalingrad is now Saritsyn. Zar Saritsyn? Saritsyn? Saritsyn. Saritsyn. Okay, Saritsyn. There we go. Just need to make sure, because I wasn't quite certain how to say that, but... We're better now. Okay, so... I'm guessing in one of these national spirits, it means that we can't join factions. I don't know why it says that we can't join factions, but that's alright. What else we got? Okay, um... Integrate the Black Hundreds. Okay, so we can curtail the Black Hundreds. Next one removed. Or integrate them. FX one removed. Change in. Oh, the Black Hundreds are instrumental. They're the so-called remaining. Reform them. Okay, um... If we reform them... It basically means they change in popularity of fascism, which we can ban. Uh, modify the Black Hundreds by... Fascism down, stability, and yes. Let's integrate them. What we're gonna do is we're gonna integrate the Black Hundreds, but then we're gonna also start like doing fascism, crack down fascism, make sure that um, democracy really takes a hold. Uh, 
Okay, what do we got with construction right now? Oh, it looks like we have civilian factories actually actively working on them. Uh, working on stuff, that's cool. Oh, that's cool, so we got infrastructure going on. And all these areas are slowly becoming uh, better as well. Good. Good, that's good to see. Archangel, Hensk, all these things are slowly coming right back into our hold. My headphones must be messing with my <laughs> Probably just voices coming from out so that way instead of that way. Oh, no. Never mind. Okay. Let's do infantry. Oh, no. I should have... I should not waste my um, political power like that. France realigns her foreign policy? Uh, President Pierre Lua has announced a major shift in French porn f f foreign policy, um, uh, including a thorough review of strategic alliances and political guarantees uh, uh, made by previous administrations. In particular, the web of alliances tying France to countries in Eastern Europe will be under scrutiny. Many adventures to take that will be dissolved. Leaders in the Polish National Republic, Czechoslovakia, or the Kingdom of O. Well, that's very interesting. I guess the Czech. We'll probably have to turn them. I think. I think we'll probably boost ideology in France. Maybe make sure that they become democratic again. We may, I think the basic, basically the extent of our, um, let's reform our media real quick. The extent of our, um, any sort of aggressive actions on our part will probably be just, just literally nothing but like, uh, Uh, just like undercover operations, unless we come under direct attack, but I would just say under just pretty much undercover operations just to make other uh, nations democratic. Ensure peace in the world and probably team up with the United States. And by team up with the United States, I mean team up with Czechoslovakia because the United States. Uh, I don't know. I oh, wait a moment, what the frick? Oh! Okay, what happened there? Annex selected state. Okay, uh, that's interesting. Germany and Britain, and therefore also uh, the United States and Britain, are going at it with each other. Uh, Mexico's getting wrecked right now. Uh, they're fascists though, so that's okay. Whoa, okay, so this is. Just this is just extended. The conflict has just extended uh, to multiple states in the Americas. A check the Czech Entente, by the way, in the blue versus the Allies in the pink. Um, I think if they just take down Britain, they can bring this whole war to a close really fast. Pretty sure the Greater East Asian Co Prosperity Sphere is against. Oh, they're just against the Mutual Assistance Block. Never mind. Mutual Assistance Block headed by who? Oh, Communist China. After all of these uh, repara rep 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 reparations are done, uh, we'll. Um, Yeah, after the operations are done, we'll make sure that we can um, uh, start building like civilian factories and things like that.
guess I should just make these divisions just defend all of, like, what Russia has. It'll be less um, of a challenge since multiple states are independent. <coughs> Destiny. Efficient bureaucracy. I wonder. Maybe that'll. Maybe that'll help. Oh, maybe we can do it. We can even do covert ops if we wanted to. I suppose. Because that would go in an operative slot. Oh, so that's actually covert ops is actually uh, what the main guy. Is. In, like the political advisors that covert ops replaces that uh, uh, covert out, uh, ops replaces that guy with this uh, efficient efficient bureaucracy though that would be really useful. Weekly change. Oh, weekly change. We'll be at a hundred in no time though, so we can probably just do covert ops. Let's build an intelligence agency. And not the NKVD, because... Let's make it this. This looks nice. If we're going to defend uh, democracy and have an intelligence agent and have subversive activities be our main force that uh, ensures democracy over the world, uh, well, Good we're going to make sure. Oh, what's this? Uh, we're going to need to make sure that we can uh, actually do that. So we're going to create an intelligence agency. Yeah. Looks like we need some tires. I'm going to buy those from. Buy them from the Dutch East Indies instead. Absolutely, I do not want to be in a war with um, Japan at all. I think I'd rather fight the post Lithuanian Commonwealth because I mean they are taking over like nearly democratic countries. At least my uh, at least my Latvian puppet is uh, rebuilding their military this fast. Berg, are they? These countries are good. Okay. Uh, the post Lithuanian Commonwealth continues to expand their nation. Uh, 
Oh, they actually fought off that British invasion. Normally, Britain manages to take Königsberg, so that's interesting. Sarboris of Bulgaria. This seems different. I was leaving the University of Sofia uh, attending the annual National Congress of Byzantine Cities. An individual swiftly approaches a zoo weapon firebomb becomes a force of being shot down by security forces. National Security Service has opened up an investigation to find uh, those responsible for the which side. According to official reports, the criminal was in possession of Bulgarian, German, and English documentation. Which only completes the investigation and fuels speculation. Uh, most Bulgarians bring Conrad Adenu or the NKVD or the British. Don't blame me. I don't even have an NKVD. Uh, or the British, but there are some dare who dare claim that the government itself is involved. is growing really big, I like it. Oh, there's not more that there's not many more um, repairs to go. Uh, I, like I, I like to see that as well. Soon we'll be able to start building a bunch of civilian factories, utilizing the land. Uh, I wonder if maybe, maybe, okay, so after this, of course we can consolidate power, which will grant stability. See you then. I'm not sure if anyone else is wa watching. Okay, so Japan and the United States are formally at war now, but also Canada and Japan, uh, Canada and the United States are in an alliance. That's cool. 
kind of good one with tokens. I can now recruit in different places as well. So now we're going to do consolidate power so that we can open up this. Sweden has uh, gone fascist. Very interesting. Oh, lots of nations. Lots of nations are... Uh, all the nations that we apparently occupied, I guess, they're all uh, slowly becoming um, Russian once more, I suppose. Good, 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 good. Consolidation of power, the beginning of the trials. Um... Bolsheviks resoundedly defeated, we have been left to pick up the pieces of Russia and put them back together. One particular item of business that needs to be attended to is the fate of the Bolshevik leaders and their underlings who, can have, who, have, uh, we, who we have captured during our victory. Over the next few days, the prisoner government has scheduled a number of trials the hundreds of, of the hundreds of prisoners that we have taken, though all in the white movement are happy to see victory. It means a scene if they will uh, see eye to eye in dealing with the Reds, and if justice will be swift or deadly or generous and merciful. I want to be generous and merciful. Um, Exodus, okay. Weekly change. Oh no. The Soviet Center. Uh, the first fantasy trial are those who were in power right up until the Civil War began. The Stalinists in the Soviet Center. One by one, the former ministers and generals allowed to them various charges that had been levied against them, including everything for selling the Revolution of 1917. Extra repressed uh, repression conducted recently, bo both in the run-up to and during the Second Civil War. Race deliberation. The panel of judges came to a unanimous agreement for crimes. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, Soviet Union. Iosif Stalin, George Zhukov, Ivan Konev, and eleven others were tireless of Stalin from the Soviet Union. If they did not, if they did not escape the country, Stalin and uh, political advisors and commanders will be purged. Well, okay then. If they voted. Set the rules who can join. Oh! This is great. That means that now, um. Now we'll be able to uh, go down our democratic path and join factions. Great. So there is this. This option here to bring the big breakaways back to the fold or to offer autonomy to the former Soviet republics. So I think I'm going to do autonomy. Um, of course I could do bring the breakaways back to the fold and just take over everything but Ukraine because I want to stay peaceful to Ukraine. I could do that and just do that, but I, I think I want to be more peaceful. I want to be more democratic. I'm not going to invade uh, all of our former land that we've taken. Especially because we only claim their land, it would only hurt us more uh, to try and bring breakaways back to the fold. So you, the thing is, is that 
I think we're gonna offer autonomy soon. Not not now though. We don't wanna give them too much time to prepare though. Propaganda campaigns. Yeah, I'll do this here. Russian Orthodox Church. There's really not a lot of infantry equipment is there. We need to make more so more military factories so that we can make more. Oh, consolidation of power, Soviet left. Uh, next up for the next up for judgment, we're members of the Soviet left, the hardline international revolutionaries and Trotskyists who had become the boogeyman of the late Soviet Union. I mean, these guys don't deserve to be the boogeyman, so let's 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 grant them some mercy. Um, the, ooh, their apparent victimization by the Stalinists earned the left opposition some sympathy on left-wing judges as fellow victims of Leninist communism. Their political reality situation soon overshadowed this, as there was no way the court was going to let these dedicated revolutionaries walk free to cause more chaos in Russia. At the end of the trial, uh, the judges decided uh, these men had to go either or, and they joined their leader in exile. Uh, Trotsky's general was so good to, or too good to. Okay, that's not good. That's definitely not good. So let's let's send them back into exile. That means that we've lowered that we've lowered communism. Soviet right. At the law at the end of a long day of trials remained the Bukharinists, the Soviet right. Like all the others, the list of charges levied against the right was great, but the closer the chronology came to present day, the muddier the case became. As the most moderate of the Bolshevik factions, the men on trial were, Ill, uh, were, became, um, were able to elicit a good deal of sympathy from the judges in explaining how they had been pushed into, the, into opposition by Stalin. There was also extensive discussion of their support for the new economic policy, a development which was, on balance, fairly well received by the exiles when it was new, and their subsequent deep-seated opposition to collectivization which stood out to many whites as among some of the worst crimes perpetuated by the Stalinist regime. As, uh, as the time came to deliver judgment, the long day became longer. A number of socialist and left-leaning generals found genuine sympathy for the Bukharinists um, and suggested that there was possibility for reconciliation here, a suggestion that caused no small amount of uproar among the reactionaries. Um, the exile was all they deserved. Okay, so we can lower stability just to raise democracy, I think. But why, however, I don't want to do red heat democracy though. So let's do exile for them too. Uh, consolidation of power, the non-aligned generals. As a new day dawns on the trial communists, the time has come to try the high-ranking Red Army and Naval commanders who have not declared loyalty to any major Soviet faction. As with the others, a number of charges were read out to the defendants addressing their position up until recently, uh, the arch of the Russian state. However, despite cries of right-wing judges for blood, we'll have to get rid of those right-wing judges. Uh, those from the left and political center were not so sure. Were these men merely following orders and serving the country, or were they truly as complicit? Um, don't want to do that. Exile. I'm probably going to do exile, to be honest. Yeah, definitely going to do exile. Yeah, we're taking a lot of political damage right now, but... Junior officers. Junior officers? We can't do that. Once all the major players have been sorted out, fellow judges start making more sweeping on junior members. Though this time there would not be any mass executions, the judges would still have to weigh up the choice to keep Soviet personnel in their place or have them removed. For some consideration, continues to focus on the army, just this time concerning the junior officers of three service branches. Uh, right wing, per, uh...
They were only following orders, man. I can't do that. Soviet bureaucrats. Oh my gosh, next up are the bureaucrats who kept the Soviet system running on a day-to-day -day basis. following orders. I have to make sure that this is a fair and true trial. The end of the trials. At last, the trials of the communists draw to a close. Many have been sentenced to death. I don't think many were, actually. I sent most of them into exile. Uh, against the counter-revolution, many have been sent out of the country never returned, but some have been forgiven and reconciled into the new regime. It certainly hasn't been a clean or clean-cut affair. We can only imagine that this situation might have been rather uh, similar for the Reds back in 1922. Yeah. Well. Well, that's over. Restore order to the Northern Caucasia. Oh, that's cool! We can now uh, integrate these guys again. That's great. That's really cool, actually. So once these guys have good compliance levels, we can integrate these again. Bounce of power. We need to make some concessions. I think we'll need to make some concessions to the nationalists. Because, yeah, they're just taking... They're grumbling right now, but that doesn't mean that they need... That we can't have them do that. That we can have them be grumbling. So our Ferdinand returns. Um, which isn't incredible, but... It is acceptable. Sicily joined Japan. Oh, Sicily is a... Uh, provisional government uh, debates democracy. Surprisingly, they call for more referendum and less repressive... Uh, less repressive measure against opponents of regime has caused some support in internal uh, party discussions. Well, provisional government leadership remains skeptical. Several intervention have support is shift. Uh, is that the civil war? Okay, I don't think any of these things have to be not aligned for them. Uh, especially if I turn them into de democracy. So yes, let's do this now. We need a referendum. Alexander Kransky is now our leader. War support, uh, democracy. Yes, okay, guys, check it out, okay. So we're still technically called the Russian Federation, which is, he'll ask for docking rights by the two Republican states. Yes, which is still technically what we, what we're, what, 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 what now Russia is called in real life, but we're actually democratic. So that's cool. We are now a democracy, a democracy uh, solely built off of and totally a, um, Truly, truly a democracy. I like it. This is great. This is really cool. What? Frustration and development. Oh, there's just another one of these guys. Okay. Democratic socialism. That's okay. Democratic socialism. Yeah, I think we can still move through the... Yeah, we can still move through the focus tree uh, while being democratic. Yeah, this should work perfectly fine.
What's this guy? Retired officer. Never heard of this guy before. Uh, Philippines capitulated. Too bad, man. Wait a moment, you guys are in the Allies. You guys are the bad guys. You guys you guys may be democratic, but you're led by the fascist power, and therefore I uh oh, wait. Okay, well they're still cool. Maybe they can dock. These guys can't dock. Uh these guys, by the way, absolutely. I mean, you guys can absolutely move through our country. You know, the Czech and Tente. Oh, there's a North American Alliance as well. I would love to join the North American Alliance. Oh, we can actually join the North American We can join the North American Alliance. We really can. Uh, as soon as we manage to get down through this way, the reconvene the Zemsky Sobor. But for now, I think this has been a wildly successful uh, game, and let us save overwrite revolution for democracy. Okay, I think I'm going to end the stream just now, and um, I'll probably go back on it like tomorrow or such. Anyways, I think this has been a wonderful time. Thank you for watching, if you guys are still watching, and uh, I will see you guys probably tomorrow for some more. Goodbye!